Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Mr. Boskin Does Some Math. Today we're doing illustrative math, grade 8, unit 3, lesson number 4. Okay, first problem here. A co contractor must haul a large amount of dirt to a work site. She collected information from two hauling companies. Easy Excavation gives its price in a table. Happy Hauling Service gives its prices in a graph. How much would each company charge to haul 40 cubic yards of dirt? Well, I do not see 40 cubic yards on this graph or on this table, so we're going to have to figure out something to be able to do this. First step, let's find a unit rate. If we pay $196 for 8 cubic yards, that is 196 divided by 8, $24.50 per cubic yard. Let's just double check real quick here. $490 divided by 20 cubic yards is $24.50. So that's their unit rate. They charge $24.50 per cubic yard. Now let's look at the other company here. Happy Hauling charges unit rate that looks like it goes through a nice point that looks like $25 per cubic yard how much would each company charge which one's which easy excavation is 2450 times 40 cubic yards and happy hauling is $25 per cubic yard times 40 cubic yards. 2450 times 40 is 980 and 25 times 40 is 1,000. Calculate the rate of change for each relationship. Hey, we already did that. Easy excavation was 2450 and happy hauling was $25. If the contractor is 40 cubic yards of dirt to haul in a budget of $1,000, which hauling company should she hire? Well, if the budget's $1,000, That one kind of makes sense because it's $1,000, but that uses up the whole budget. I would always suggest using easy because it saves you $20. I would rather save $20. Okay, what's our next question? Andre and Priya are tracking the number of steps they walk. Hey, I do that with my watch too. Andre records that he can walk 6,000 steps in 50 minutes. Priya writes the equation y equals 118x, where y is the number of steps and x is the number of minutes she walks. To describe her step rate. This week, Andre and Priya each walk for a total of five hours. Who walks more steps? 
so Andre goes 6,000 steps in 50 minutes. That's 120 steps per minute. And Priya uses this equation, which is y equals 118x, which means Priya's unit rate is 118. So they walk for a total of five hours. Well, these are both in minutes. So five hours times 60 minutes is 300 minutes. Andre is 120 times 300 minutes. 120 times 300. Thirty-six thousand steps. Priya is. 118 times that same 300 minutes. Which is 35,400 steps. So who walks more steps? Andre walks more steps. How many more steps? 36,000 versus 35,400. That looks like 600 more. Andre walks 600 more steps. Find the coordinate for point D in each diagram. OK. So in this one, that's the point 2, 0, 2, 10, negative 6, 0. Let's find the slope of this line. The rise goes from 0 to 10. That's 10 units. The run goes from negative 6 to 2. And I believe that is eight units. So the slope is 10 over 8, which is 5 over 4. So to go from here that way back to if this is the y-axis this is where x equals 0 so we have to go back two points from here 1 2 we go 5 fourths for every unit because our slope is our unit rate two units that way would be 5 fourths times 2 which is 10 fourths which is 5 halves, which is 2.5, 2.5. Well, we were at a height of 10. We went down 2.5. So D is the point 0, 7.5. We were at 10, we went down 2.5, we're at 7.5. Okay, now let's look at our other one here. Now we can do the same kind of idea. It looks like we're again going to have to go two units over, but let's find our slope. What's the rise? 
Our rise goes from a height of three to seven, which is four units. And our run goes from negative four to two, which is six units. So our slope Rise over run is 4 over 6, which is 2 thirds. We've got to go back 2 units again. 2 thirds times 2 is 4 thirds. This y value is 7. We have to go down. We went over two, we're going down four thirds. Seven subtract four thirds, which is seven subtract one and a third. One is six, so five and two thirds. So that's the point zero, five and two thirds. Okay, select all the pairs of points so that the line between these points has a slope of two thirds. So rise of two, run of three. From here to here, that looks like a rise of three and a run of two. We're looking for two thirds and we have a rise of three and a run of two. Is three over two the same as two thirds? No. Looked like an easy one, but nope, that's a little trick problem. Next one, we have a rise from zero to two of two and a run from zero to three of three. Does that have a slope of two thirds? Yes, it does. How about this next one? Our rise goes from five to seven. Five, six, seven, that's two. Our run goes from one to four, that's three. That one has a slope of two thirds. Now, what are we gonna do? We go from negative two to positive two our rise is four units, and our run, looking at the x values, goes from negative two to four. That is six units. Four over six, let's simplify that fraction, that's two thirds. That works. Now, let's look at this one. We go from 20, 30, and negative 20, negative 30. So our y value goes from 30 to negative 30, so we're going down. And from 30 to negative 30 is 60. Negative 60. Our run goes from positive 20 to negative 20, so we're going down. 20 to negative 20 is 40 units. Let's simplify this fraction. Well, a negative divided by a negative is a positive. Both those negative signs will go away. First easy way of simplifying that, let's make it six over four. Divide each side, or divide top and bottom by 10. Now we have six over four, those are both even. That would be three over two. Oh, we've got another three over two. Three over two is not the same as two thirds. That's another one that doesn't work. Okay, that was our last problem for today. This has been another episode of Mr. Boskin Does Some Math. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.